Mike Tyson is well known for being an extremely tough guy in the boxing ring, but you might be surprised to hear that he also finds it annoying when people touch him too much, especially when it's not appropriate. Tyson recently discussed his encounter with well-known musician Diddy on a live television program. Tyson disclosed that Diddy had a tendency to be quite touchy, which bothered him. He claimed that even at that time, he could tell that Diddy would take advantage of people, even guys. Tyson made the decision to come forward because he doesn't want other people to go through what he did. He believes that by sharing his experience, it may be possible to put an end to this kind of behavior. After all, nobody should have to put up with someone making them feel uncomfortable, especially in public or on live television. Mike Tyson appears to have had additional knowledge regarding Diddy, who was taken into custody in New York on September 17 on extremely serious accusations. The entertainment industry was stunned to learn of these charges, which include organized crime and sex trafficking. Many were astonished to learn of this revelation, which made headlines. However, Tyson didn't seem to be too shocked when he chose to speak out following Diddy's arrest. Diddy and I have always been friends, but there have been occasions when I felt as though he was invading my personal space. The way he does it is just too intimate, and I don't want other people to feel that everyone has a right to their own space and respect. This is something that needs to be acknowledged. Diddy has been charged with a number of serious offenses, including coercing female victims into participating in freaky offs, a type of sex show. These allegations follow police searches on Diddy's mansions in Miami and Los Angeles in March, during which time they seized evidence that would support their claims about what was occurring within the properties. It was expected that Mike Tyson would react angrily to Diddy's subtly boxing, but only a few hours after Diddy's arrest in New York, big news broke. A federal indictment was unsealed, meaning official charges were made public, according to NBC News. Diddy is being charged with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation for prostitution. Legend is renowned for using harsh language, but even on live TV, he wasn't going to back down. In fact, his remarks were just as powerful as one of his Ling Quick jabs. I believe that Diddy's arrest was something he deserved. As a freak, he brought it upon himself and shouldn't have done it in the first place. You can't act in such a way and expect to get away with it as you can. See, actions have consequences. As an example, the brief exchange between Diddy and Mike Tyson has received over 40,000 views on X, prompting people online to share their opinions about the situation. Diddy was attempting to touch Mike Tyson, according to one user, so Mike had to pull his hand away. Another user brought up the fact that Mike Tyson was aware of Diddy's plans. The video shows Mike removing his hand from his leg, indicating that Tyson would not allow Diddy to approach him too closely. It's clear that fans notice Tyson's acerbic reaction and are supporting him now that things are getting worse for Diddy. And it's not only Mike Tyson speaking out against him, as a third user succinctly put it. A lady has filed a new civil lawsuit alleging that Diddy and his bodyguard Joseph Sherman drugged and sexually assaulted her. The woman claims they even videotaped the attack and shared it with others. This latest case is a part of a troublesome series of lawsuits that put Diddy in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. It's evident that more people are coming forward to share their stories. Diddy has denied all of the accusations made against him regarding sexual misconduct, but the legal battles continue. Here's an additional one. Lelia Graves filed a federal lawsuit in New York, detailing a startling account of how, when she was 25 years old, Diddy and his bodyguard Joseph Sherman offered her a glass of wine. After drinking it, Lelia began to feel lightheaded and weak physically. She didn't realize what was going on, though, and shortly after, she lost consciousness. According to the lawsuit, Thalia woke up to discover that she was being sexually assaulted by both Diddy and Sherman, and that she was unable to resist or flee. If you think that's the only side to this story, you're not seeing the whole picture because it turns out that Diddy is actually sharing a cell with someone very famous in another way he 
is now roommates with after this horrific incident has stuck with her for many years. Sam Bankman Freed, a former cryptocurrency billionaire. This information comes from a report by the New York Times. Bankman Freed is currently serving a long sentence of 25 years in prison. He was found guilty of serious crimes like conspiracy fraud and money laundering. Bankman Freed was once big name in the world of cryptocurrency, where people trade digital money like Bitcoin. But his actions led to a huge scandal which caused a lot of people to lose their money. Many former customers, lenders, and investors lost billions of dollars because of what he did now he is, paying the price for his actions in prison. And it looks like Diddy is right there with him facing his own set of serious problems. You see, having two high-profile figures in the same detention center makes this situation even more interesting. Now, Diddy has denied all the serious allegations against him. His attorneys or lawyers have even said that some of the lawsuits are just money grabs, meaning they think people are trying to get money from him unfairly. They also describe the accusations as baseless and sickening suggesting that they believe these claims have no truth to them at all, but with so many people speaking out against him, it makes you wonder if there might be some truth to the claims. When a lot of people come forward with similar stories, it can be really hard to just brush it all off. It raises questions about why so many individuals would be willing to testify against him. If there wasn't something going on, people often expect someone in his position to take these claims seriously and respond thoughtfully rather than simply denying everything outright. After all, denying allegations is one thing, but proving his innocence might be another story altogether. If Diddy keeps denying all the accusations against him, people might start to wonder if he is trying to use his wealth to influence his legal team. Some may believe that he is paying his attorneys to support his defense, even though his acts may have grave repercussions. Rich people like Diddy often get away with bad behavior, which frustrates many. It seems unfair that money can sometimes shield someone from the consequences of their behavior in a way. It also makes people question justice and whether everyone should be treated equally regardless of wealth. For Diddy, his lawyers may seem to be his best chance of avoiding serious trouble, but that doesn't mean that everyone will believe he's innocent. Now that Mike Tyson has exposed Diddy, the case against him will undoubtedly strengthen. What are your thoughts on this? Is Tyson was right in doing what he did? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below. Mike Tyson is well known for being an extremely tough guy in the boxing ring, but you might be surprised to hear that he also finds it annoying when people touch him too much, especially when it's not appropriate. Tyson recently discussed his encounter with well-known musician Diddy on a live television program. Tyson disclosed that Diddy had a tendency to be quite touchy, which bothered him.